That's Welcome to session eight of Fate, the Rise of Madness. By the way, does anybody check the sound? Oh, check it I mean, here. the mic definitely has noticeable noise. The bar is moving? Yeah. But I just want to make sure. Okay. okay, there we go. That's good. Microphones. Because we almost didn't okay. have my character sheet. Yep. Okay, good. Good. Yep. Uh, thank you for your patience, guys. Um, I don't have my sort of GM camera, so we'll just move this guy oh, around. Here, I'll, I'll... No, we're good. Let's see. Uh oh. <laughs> Actually, this might be easier if I'm on this yeah. side, too. Oh, yeah? What happened to the camera up there? It's right here. Like, in this seat right here? Uh, actually, let's just pull it okay? back and look what's in this side. Yeah, let's move it back. I need a, uh, uh, a great dip for, what was I saying, I think Eli was well. in those chairs. I don't think I'm on any sort of camera. But, um, here, there are... Let's say maybe if you slide We're doing down. some rearranging. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I was thinking this will work for now. Yeah. You can always move it as needed. All right. Since Tommy's not going to be here? Yes. We are two people short, but that does not mean that we want to play, of course. We have a... Um, more treasure for us. <laughs> so, so taking all, yeah, we'll pull a Gandal Gandalf and take all the XP for our own. <laughs> yes. So, uh, 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 Quetzal is being played by Corey, and Plank is being played by uh, Eli. All right. Two things yep. that are going to get us all killed. That's all I have to do for this one. Quetzal jumps yeah. in front of me like And then a try to do anything and everything to to not get killed as my other character. <laughs> Those are, yeah. That's pretty, right. pretty much the Twitzel test the floor in front of me. The last <laughs> session, we'll do a little bit of a recap here. So yeah, whatever. Pencils. 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 Yeah. Pencils. You got one. You got one. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Very good. You have one, Jerome? I have a pen. I'm good. After disarming the bomb. Which we did masterfully. Which you did masterfully, indeed. Uh, the Stephen Onaz, or Free Regiment, uh, which is you guys, of course, determines, or I guess discovers, really, that there are five more bombs in the city. At least that's what we think. At least. No, you've just confirmed that. So. <laughs> as far as you're, you, you discussed. Uh, Good DM. Now, Give us more uh, information. <laughs> and you also discussed and kind of decided that the opportune time for them to go off would be the seventh day of the trials when Merrick is set to be there. Uh, shortly after sorting out the madness powder stuff with some assistance from Sven, you have received an invitation to Sotus Banebringer's party taking place on the sixth day of the trials. Imagine now this. Uh, it, it's been, you've kind of been working through the night, a good chunk of the night, um, and I want to say that you all had a long rest. So it's the fourth day around noon when you all are sort of back to uh, full peak awareness. And it's around this time that all the animals return to the bazaar, accompanied by Ishmael and Harriet. So, so she, she joins you. The box of dice. I have my brand new white dice box or dice tray that my father made for me. And we're going to have a little fun. Now, you have the day open to you. There's a lot of things you need to get done. What would you like to do? Uh, I do have a question. Yes. Did we get any money from performing? The bizarre did, yes. All right, I'm um, gonna go find my mom. That's fair. <laughs> she is uh, 
probably in front of a big pile of money. Well, no. She's probably hitting on you. That's what I was getting ready to say. She actually isn't too far away. Uh, she's kind of because you 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 make your way to the the main tent and she's there, you know, overseeing them doing any sort of repairs and getting them set up for the show that night. The show does go on because you know this thing that happens. <laughs> Move on from the bad Damn stuff it. and keep on going. Maybe we should scout the fish and what the ball's gonna be. certainly do that. Um, but first, my son, you slept in. It's been a crazy night. It, it kind of was, yes. So, question. What is our cut of the proceeds from last night's festivities? Oh, right. Since the Birdman did all the cooking and you had some yes. of the best foods that we've ever had at the, con- at the, at the carnival. Oh, indeed. We, have, we made quite a good deal of money despite the unfortunate events that took place. Good thing we had that no refunds policy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, she kind of hands you a pretty hefty uh, bag. Mm. There is uh, 700 white. Ooh. Nice. Which is essentially 100, 100 each per person. So, thank you very much. Pleasure doing business as always. <laughs> yes. Kind of give her a wink. I'm in good spirits. I disarmed a bum. Oedipus. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Go away. <laughs> what? I'm going to Eldritch Blast Krishna <laughs> in the face. I didn't hear what you said. Oedipus. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. No. <laughs> oh, we need to make this. She does say, uh, where oh, are the rest of your group? Uh, we need to reposition <laughs> this camera. Okay. Because it's only pointing at Corey. Finn. <laughs> yes. Finn, 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 Finn I haven't is, seen Finn yet today. He's not your concern. <laughs> oh, but he is. No, he's not. <laughs> I don't care how long Faz has been dead. You can't bang the dumb <laughs> muscle man. Oh, I think I can. <laughs> <laughs> Do that on your own time. I'm not doing a return for you. I hate you so much. I hate you. I'm going to walk away now. <laughs> Storms off. Uh, so so good. So good. Where are we on? Uh, yeah. That's it. So what, uh... Yep. Not in Perfect. focus. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, Aloysius, or Crowley as you all know him, does make his way back to you. Unless... Well, I mean, what's... So what's, what's next on the agenda? So I'm going to... Come, walk up and find the group. I'm hoping they're all grouped together. Mm-hmm. So we've got a bit of a take from the, the carnival. 100 white apiece. Excellent. Oh, yes. What's the name of this guy? Whose party we're going to? Sodus Bainbringer. How do I spell it? S-O-D-U-S and the word Bane and Bringer. Where do I put that again? Huh? The money stuff? Um, uh, first page of your character sheet, I think. Yep, down at the very bottom where the, your armor and equipment is. Uh, no, she's got a different kind of character oh. sheet. Um, might be the second stash. page. Yeah, it's right up here. Oh, okay. You got so, 100? 100 white. 100 white, yes. Where is Crowley? There you are. Yes, yes, yes. Mo money is. My money is less problems. I hope. Well, different problems, not necessarily less problems. So we've got some work to do. I plan to go to this party. If Sotis will be there, then we can maybe combine our plans. The original plan being to have me go in disguise as the half orc and you know, just to tell him the plan failed and to find out what the next steps are. But with the party, we, I could go as myself, go into disguise halfway through, and go from there. Then I don't need to bring 
our Does quiet companion here along as a mm. slave Unless or prisoner. He already knows he's, he's dead. That's true, but there's not really a way he can do that unless he's a magic user himself. And have we heard that he's a that he does magic? You have not heard anything <laughs> really other than his name and that he is a fire giant. That's a problem. Fire giants are typically not casters, though. We're going to have to find out something about this guy. Yeah, so just to give you a little rundown as far as what, what I guess the sort of basic idea of what the next steps are. You need to find out more about Sobis. That's, that's one thing you can do. Um, you need to find the locations of the other bonds, if there are any. Which, the last session, I, had, I scoped out potential targets. You did. And you have some notes on that. Yes. Yes. Uh, Written down. <laughs> indeed. Yay. <laughs> and let's see. But those are kind of the big ones, really. Uh, well, we need to find these things. What do you do? Well, I guess what do you do first? There's many things you can do. Um. Hmm. And the party tonight? No, no, this is... You're in the fourth day of the trials. Okay. The party is on the sixth day? The party is is, is the night of the sixth day of the trials. So you have a little bit of time to sort that out. So we know where the party is being held, right? Yes. The invitation uh, gave the location as the Golden Sphere, uh, which is a very high... Society in slash ballroom type place. All right, I'm going. To, I'm going to go scout out the golden sphere. Yeah. And so. I take out my my fake signet ring and uh-huh. put it on and ah. mask of many faces into Duke Brian of House Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Who all is going with? And if you're not going with, what are you doing? Instead, I was definitely planning to already right. as well. Can as you Kane. can you clean yourself up a little bit? You look, you, you look kind of scary. <laughs> so, uh, as as you say that, I'll just flourish my cloak a little bit, which I have the cloak the, of many fashions. Yeah, yeah, the cloak of many fashions, and immediately go from like looking in like penumbra gear to like well to do like for, like formal almost. Okay, so, royal, but. All dark colors. <laughs> yeah, and then Got just sort it. of like. like so I'm gonna go raid. Run, fix my our, hair up a little costume bit. tent. Okay. And, and find like the because I know we make fun of nobles all the time. It's kind of what we do. Right. So I'm gonna get some noble looking finery. Like fake fake noble clothes. Yeah. <laughs> How long will it take? It's gonna be a disguise. Long Anything to fit Harriet in here. How long is it? Maybe. <laughs> Uh, okay. You're what, a, nine feet tall? Question. It depends on... With, with pockets, you know? Uh, if you go, like, straight line through, it's probably about an hour walk. Pretty good sized place. Uh, going around it entirely obviously takes longer than that. Probably closer to three, four hours. Um, there's a lot of city. There's a sort of whole section where the where the golden sphere is that is the sort of high society where you have the larger manors and where the <laughs> giant folk are living, where the nobles and certain aspects of giant kin are there as well. I want to start there and look at all the locations that would seem like they would hold a lot of people with my moon beam sword drawn but tucked under the shield and just. You're looking at that motherfucker the whole time I'm walking around. Okay. Just for the, for the, just to have it out? Well, it's magical, so if I'm around one of these bombs, then it should... T- turn off. Right. Uh, but it, it doesn't glow during the day. Yeah, it's only only at night that it will glow. Ah, so if you better do that than I can. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. And if you are going to do that, then I'll divulge, like, the, the locations that I... Like scoped out of be like these are some good places. I take my Which um out of my my own personal bag, I take my cloak of billowing and hand it to you. Nice. And just keep it turned on. I guess through the day then I'll just go with um Crowley. Okay. 
Are there any animals around that may have seen something? I was going to say, too? let's go out in the woods, just away from town, try and... That just is a great question. Uh, um, so, there are animals, sort of, that do live in the city. Sewer rats? <laughs> Rats? Giant rats. Skeevers. Rats. Skeevers. <laughs> no rats. rats. Street rats. Size. Okay. Rats are definitely one. Um, there are occasional birds, um, which might be a better sort of target to ask. Uh, but they're all flighty and... <laughs> Paper. Some of them are, yes. <laughs> uh <laughs> I thought it was funny. It was funny. Uh, so. Oh my gosh, I literally just got that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I live for. <laughs> That's great. That's really good. Okay, so you start good. to go... <laughs> Ten minutes later. ...as a group in the direction of the Golden Sphere. Uh, you're... Are you changing your dress in any way? You're just gonna... I don't want to go into the Golden Sphere. I don't want to go to the middle of town. Uh, Fair. I'd rather, like, <clears throat> just stay on the outskirts you wanna, of town. You want to stay with uh, Genevieve? No, but <laughs> probably, like... Go wandering? Yeah, go... Yeah. Are, is there forest around this, or are we in the desert? You're in the desert okay. space right now. There are some areas that are magically... Sustained. Uh, sustained. But it's agricultural. Yeah. It's not really like... Tr- There's tourist. no park. Right. Not not in the, the sense of like a forest. I hate this place. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hot. Yeah, I hate this place. It's not very humid. It's, it's, it's definitely it's a, a dry desert. heat. But <laughs> Fuck dry heat. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not a, a pleasant... Uh, well, it's oh. not always a pleasant type of place. Oh, I'm going to follow the group. Uh, <laughs> okay. Actually, that's fair. I'm not <laughs> thinking about changing. There's, it's too bad inside. I'm probably to. Uh, yeah. I was like, I, I know. <laughs> One didn't do the trick. So again, the city currently has quite a few mages sort of floating around. Um, you make your way into the wealthier side of the city. And uh, these are pretty... No, I'm good. These are pretty... But good call, just in case. You never know. These are definitely houses that are exceedingly expensive. Uh, gold filigree adorns several of the like the walls of the house, like the exterior walls. Uh, it is all mostly sandstone, just because that's what they have a huge abundance of. Uh, you notice that some of them do have runes etched into them. Some of the buildings are very large and have enormous doors that have sort of smaller doors built into them for like normal sized people to walk through those. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have to try and push but it. But if the door. other door opened, it yeah, would just, like fuck with like you. You can't reach the handle of the actual sort of full door uh, where it's very clear that giants live and work there. <coughs> um, speaking of, The vast majority of giants that you see here are indeed fire giants. Uh, Some, you you see one or two uh, swarm giants, but it's pretty rare. That's about all you see is one or two. Um, The Golden Sphere, uh, let's see here. It's a very, it's, it's, it's a literal sphere, and it has runes etched into almost the whole exterior surface. Um, Does the exterior surface look like mirrored gold or like polished gold? It looks like it is uh, it's built of a dark stone that has a lot of gold plating on it. So it's not like solid gold. But it's fucking gold. There's a lot of gold present. Yeah, um, it's gaudy, and it is a big giant spear. Yeah. Like uh, on the uh, way, Epcot big or bigger? Have you seen? Them? I've seen the Epcot sphere before, maybe not in person, but okay. it's it's about that size. It's pretty big. <laughs> pretty cool. 
Fairly substantially large. Sorry. Epcot Center uh, is a giant golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> Except it doesn't have the divots. Yeah, it kind of does. It's got pointy, pointy bits. It's like a pointy golf ball. Fair enough. Uh, Harriet. Mm. Give me a perception check. Which one is that? D20. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, so what's, what's your bonus? Total? I don't know. Where's my bonus? Wisdom. Under perception. Three? Uh, no, <laughs> your perception, your proficient, so five, so nine. Nine. Nine! Nine, <laughs> nine is actually going to be good. Nine is enough uh, for this because you're kind of all along the way, you're on the lookout for creatures and the like. Uh, and there is a uh, perched on like a signpost, there is a vulture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not necessarily a very large one, but it's pretty, you know, it's ugly like vultures are. Uh, but it sees you. As you're all walking by, and it kind of nods to you. It doesn't say anything, it just nods to you. So you can interact with it if you wish, uh, or not. It's up to you. Sure. So everybody else is there too, right? Yes, they're kind of walking along. Uh, you can kind of say, hey, you know, hold up a second, and then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what questions to ask, because I'm kind of out of the loop. So, if you guys would ask questions through Harriet. Yeah. Um, That's certainly possible. Yeah. So yeah. Harriet tells the group that is there any questions we're trying to prove to Alaric and the... So, yeah. This vulture may know something. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, sure, it sure it does. Down, Crazy. And if you hold your because your hair is thick enough. You don't need a falconer's glove. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not really problematic. You basically have one built in. Yeah. <laughs> that is, this is a neat trick. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh, one, 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 <laughs> one hail. Rangers. Ranger. What brings you here into the city? What brings us here into the city? <laughs> uh, ask the bird if there's anywhere in town where magic is not working. Is there anywhere in town where magic is not working? In vulture language. <laughs> <laughs> there's a random town person walking that, by. Don't worry, she's okay. <laughs> that, that is, yeah, like some some of the, the, the hoity toity people walking by. See you. I flash my signet ring. This is okay. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, what? what? It's very weird. Don't you have someplace better to be? <laughs> you think I'm a mom, I'm a mom, I'm a mom. Uh, Not that I've seen. Not that you've seen. Do you have any treats? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. What can you tell me? No. If it hangs out here, he's probably seen sodas coming and going, and who he keeps company with. I doubt he's going to know one fire giant from another. Yeah, that's he's a bird. I was thinking that as well. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a big particularly people. high intelligence. I'm just kind of translating it into a discernible language so that it's <laughs> less treat, uh, <laughs> less treat. confusing. Treat. Yeah, treat, treat. <laughs> Who's the most interesting character you've seen? Kind of nods to Harriet. <laughs> Besides me. <laughs> uh, no. There were... <laughs> Graydon's getting in your shit. I know. It's that okay. happens. There were some, some shady looking guys with a box that went into that Mm. So that's not good. Okay, but with the intelligence being low, define shady. Right? 
Oh, he, he, he could probably pick. Um, they were they were sneaking around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or seemed. Okay. Seemed. Likes this one. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a nobleman. Right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, I would no. be good. <laughs> Not like that. Your disguise is good. What disguise? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> hmm. Do we want to know how many people there were sneaking around? Would that have you as, has he seen any other boxes like that one? Ah. Any other boxes? Yes. Any they were carrying boxes? a box into the building. Many boxes uh, throughout the city. Have you seen any purple powder? No. Shit, vultures are colorblind, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> More than likely. <laughs> so it goes, purple? purple? <laughs> What is this purple? <laughs> is it tasty? Is it a treat? Is yes. it tasty? <laughs> yes. That's Damn it. great. I thought I had minor illusion, but I don't. Is I was going to try and, like... <laughs> Does it go easy down the gullet? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Have you seen any other shady people around town? Oh, yes. This, this is a big place. There's lots of shady people here. Where did they congregate? Sewers. Balls. No, that's good. I'm gonna get all my n- I'm gonna get all my nice clothes dirty. <laughs> that's all <laughs> your nice fake for. noble. <laughs> we had noble to clothes. we had to pay some decent amount of money for these fake noble clothes. Cross <laughs> <laughs> finger discount. Shut up. <laughs> Do you have the wow, Oh God, no! Nice. I'm a warlock. Nice. I roll shit with this, which is good for you guys. <sighs> Treat. I guess I'll what fish around in my bag. Do, do I have? I've got some rations. I probably got some dried meat in there. He likes dead shit. I'm gonna hold up a piece of dried meat. Yeah. Treat. It Jesus. <laughs> kind of nipped your finger a little bit, <laughs> and then bad bit. Toddles off. Oh. <laughs> so Quetzal's probably like sitting like. I'm gonna cook that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold one out to Quetzal. I've got the new recipe. I've got the new recipe. I've never cooked vulture before. There's a reason for that. No one's ever cooked vulture before. Hey. In the it's vi- probably really gross. Like, I mean, it's probably like super gross. There is a thing like, on here that says, yeah. at second yeah. level, <laughs> you, have, you have learned through the use of exotic cooking to determine roughly if the creature you're attacking can be used for food yeah. and its approximate hit points. So smack the bird and you'll know. <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's a, casually he gets out of his knife and just like starts like sharpening. <laughs> Quiet, so yeah, not in the middle of town. Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, do you want to go inside with me? Yes. You'll be my bodyguard. You'll be a fellow noble. Mm. So good. Harry is Rather go, uh, go, go up yeah, my own. Yeah, Fine, yeah, I don't go. care. You'll be my bodyguard. Yeah. You guys can hang out. I'll be sure. Uh, uh, just make sure. Oh, we're in front of the Golden Sphere. Is his cloak still billowing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he hasn't said stop. Yep. It is. Uh, and people are like, they they notice it first and they're like, oh, right, because it's a it's a fairly common magic item. Uh, it's just like, but they're confused as to why. <laughs> it's just like constantly billowing dramatically. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. All right, so I'm gonna go inside the golden sphere. Okay. Let me get some uh, some information here for you. First thing you notice, um, so the the sort of bottom. The entry into the Golden Sphere uh, is they kind of sort of etched out the bottom part of the globe, and it's got kind of a flat wall for the door. And when you walk in, there's a weird, uh, it, it feels strange in there. And you notice when you look around you, because you're kind of in the, the like foyer check in area that people are like standing and sitting along the edge of the sphere. Uh, give me an arcana check. Sixteen. 
16. 16, okay. It's pretty easy to kind of figure this out, but... Uh, and it's, at first, very disorienting, but... The magical runes of this, like, on the outside of the sphere seem to create a uh, gravitational... Uh, you remade the, the dance floor from Ready Player of, One. Yeah. <laughs> Where you can walk along the outer edge of the sphere... And it's fine. Now, uh, there is a ceiling, so it's there seems to be multiple interior spheres. Um, we don't know exactly how many. Uh, so it looks like a chandelier of rooms, of spheres. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there is a sign near the sort of check-in desk, the front desk, if you will, that shows the cost of the room. <laughs> rooms are 200 white grottos per night. <laughs> yeah. This is high, high prices for rich people. <laughs> and sitting at the front desk on a, a, a relatively high, high seated stool is a pengu. Um, Always wearing his tuxedo. Which is a penguin person. He made those for Rainer. <laughs> and he kind of adjusts his, his monocle. Because he has one of those. Wow. Because he has one. Yeah. This is, uh, yes. Who? Uh, you are new. I have not seen you before. Yes, my name is Duke Ryan of House Reynolds. How do you do? I have not heard of House Reynolds. We're a relatively recently minted nobility. Mm, nouveau riche. Yes. He kind of like. Stars. I know the reaction we get. He doesn't have a nose. He has a beak, <laughs> but he kind of snorts a little bit. Like he can't really like. You, you know. You can see it though. Yeah. In his eyes. Oh yeah. Yes, yes. I know the type of reputation new nobility gets, but. Who are your? Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Who are your? I only have one companion. Only yeah, one. I'm, I'm, is your I, I've companion. still not yet entered. This is oh. my bodyguard, Krishna. Mm. We are here to look at this location. My, uh, I have an invitation for a party here in a few nights. And oh I yes, the soldiers party. Yes. Very mm, good. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I would, we would like to assess from a security standpoint if I will be safe in this location. Mm. Well, t don't worry. It is perfectly safe. I'm, I, I'm the owner of the Golden Sphere. My name is Percival Tux. I, okay, Percival. Yes, Percival Tux is my name. T-U-X. Very easy to re remember. And he kind of calls back to a sort of side room behind there and out from there steps a uh, Gorgon which is a super hot lady with mm -hmm. snake hair with uh, what? snake hair oh. Medusa oh yeah and this is my wife Natasha yes uh, she doesn't seem as snobby as Percival does and she greets you warmly, actually. Welcome. Uh, I hope Percival hasn't been too... Uh, Percival? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, uh, we understand. Oh You're so funny. Ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha. <laughs> 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 they Natasha. wish for a tour of the establishment. We can do that. That's fine. Uh, if you'll follow me. Thank you, kind lady. Of course. And you said that your name was what? No? Duke Ryan of House Reynolds. Duke Ryan of House Reynolds. Duke Reynolds. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna get so much mileage out of this disguise. So, it's fine. So at what point <laughs> does he have to make like 17 deception checks? <laughs> <laughs> they. Based on your dress, they don't really question it or 
Yeah. Or care, as long as you have. I'm wearing like a, the most ostentatious, lordly robes I can find yeah. because I'm nouveau riche and I want to make myself so, important. If you thought the outside carefully crafted was disguise. ostentatious, the inside is worse. Uh, just like unnecessarily fancy shit is everywhere. Like gold plates and yeah, like frilly decoration on decorations. Right. Exactly. Just uh, it's forever. Tot- most of it is completely arbitrary. Not useful at all. Some of it is, though. Um, she kind of leads you up a level, and it is... Disorienting? It's very disorienting. <laughs> uh, Not used to walking on walls. Hmm. Yes, it is. Uh, it takes some getting used to. <laughs> uh, she takes you to the sort of middle level. There's three levels total. The outer level has the some of the like less fancy type rooms. The middle level has the, the really nice rooms. Um, and she kind of opens up one of the doors into the room, and it is nice. Uh, it's got like one of those plush round beds, which is again arbitrary and fun. Um, there is, it comes with a full bar, no extra cost, other than what you pay to get the room. Um, there is a magical jacuzzi tub that makes the water uh, shine different colors and like, float it into bubbles and has all kinds of interesting little fancy settings. Uh, How delightfully ostentatious! <laughs> yes, it appeals to... <laughs> what?! Just the look on your face. Yes. <laughs> it appeals to much of our clientele. Well, I love it. It's just simply smashing. <laughs> okay, now you're pumping. Smashing. Yes. Uh, and the 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 innermost sphere is the ballroom, and it is designed such like in Ready Player One. Zero G ballroom. Uh, you can with somewhat little effort jump across uh, jump across jump into the sort of middle space uh, and then do dancing type thing. can I really creepily transform into a blob like sh- like uh, Artemis did <laughs> no there is none of that <laughs> that's fucking weird it is it's super weird but no none of that um, you also notice as you're sort of taken throughout the place that there are a number of guards around varying races but they have they keep a pretty tight ship there is it so I'm, I'm pretty much just looking for exits entries anywhere like that's roped off staff only right the ballroom does have a bar area um that has a couple of um what look to be just like Cases of wine bottles and that kind of thing, like in preparation for the, the setting up on the counter, like somebody's putting stuff away. Yeah. Do I see any like wait staff just milling around? Yes, there's quite a few wait staff. Okay, I'm taking careful note of their uniforms. Okay. You got it. And for, and for and the trees. and the guard uniforms. Okay. That's a pretty good call. Do they have uniforms? Do they have an identifier marker? Yes. Um, a place like this always does, man. <laughs> the wait staff actually dresses in a garb that looks very similar to Percival's tuxedo. default look. Yeah. Like his, his sort of pink. His tuxedo. Sets. Yeah. Um, the guards appear to be in uh, a sort of nicer version of standard guard gear. So, like. Or chain, or some kind of medium to heavy armor. armor, black and white um, shield. Uh, no, or they have as far as any sort of like insignia. distinguishing marker. Um, they do golden wear sphere. like like a golden hemisphere pen kind of thing. That so there's a golden ball. Yeah, on their chest. Like, like half of one. Yeah, uh, could be solid gold. Could just be probably just plated, considering how cheap you might think Percival is. 
Oh, rich people are always looking for deals. Yeah. So, hey, you don't you don't get a lot of money by spending it all. Yep. It's probably just a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna look a at plated. look at Natasha and say, uh, <coughs> I do have a question for you, not pertaining to the venue, if you don't mind. I'm I'm new in this city. I came in for the trials, but I'm looking to set up a summer home here. Oh, okay. And uh, I wonder, who do you send your laundry to, for your your wait staff and etc. Oh. I would assume that there's a centralized service for people in our bracket. Well, generally, yes. Many folk here do send. No. Yes, our or... our uniforms, uh, both for the waitstaff and for the guards, as far as the pins and things go, uh, do not leave the doors. That is a sound business decision. Yes, it uh, helps. Fuck. In, uh, <laughs> uh, it's a safety measure. It's additional safety measure. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Makes sense. This is the this little penguin guy way. is really <laughs> se- like selective with what it goes in and out of this. You're gonna have to kill that penguin. <laughs> it's, it's gonna end. Yeah. But this is this is quite lovely. I'm 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 in love with this establishment. Many oh, are. That's good. Perhaps you will be a uh, frequent. Uh... Oh, do you have anything like a? Like a membership? Of sorts, yes. Well, I'd be quite interested in that. Possibly on my next visit. We do have a few other stops to make today. Okay. How long have we been in here? Uh, maybe 30 minutes doing the walk around. Alright, uh, it's like, do, do you have a washroom that I may access? Uh, yes, of course. Um, and she kind of points you, or takes you with Krishna, uh, to the, back to the outer sphere, and, uh, there's a sort of, like, a public type of Christian. Right, I'm gonna look at Krishna, stand outside and make sure no one follows me in. I like my privacy, you know? <laughs> and just go into the- While well, deucing. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just gonna go in and reapply my mask of many faces so it doesn't fade before I walk out the friggin' door. <laughs> oh, fair. <laughs> That's fair. What What does the inside of this this like rich ass bathroom look like? Just like gold toilets or? Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, you know how toilets are like secured with the little rubbery stopper things over the like bolts. Yeah. Uh, these have like. Jewel encrusted. Wow. Everything. Yeah, like it's 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 gaudy. Unnecessarily gaudy. To look at these jewels, how much do they look like they're worth? The, the gems. Attack. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a great question. Give me an uh, investigation. Investigation. Yeah. Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen's not bad. Um. You figure that the gems on the toilet <laughs> bolt cover are worth somewhere around, based on their cut and their quality, uh, one of the covers is probably worth about a thousand white draka. Fuck! <laughs> they look. Th- yeah, like. Does it look like they're spelled in there? Like there's a ward on them or anything? It's- Arcana. How are you going to... I'm just going to kind of... Okay, is there a bathroom attendant? Because usually there is in a high, high profile Not place. Not at present, no. Alright, so I'm going to go into one of the stalls and summon my sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is going to end so poorly. <laughs> just, right. I just want to kind of... There's no like, way they have them. Touch it <laughs> with my... Touch one of the gems with my sword and try and see if there's any magic on it. Uh... I mean, there doesn't seem to be... Like, nothing flashes or flares out at you when you tap it with your sword, no. Gonna ask my, my sword, anything magical going on? Okay. Go ahead. 
give me a uh, Arcana. Yeah, sure. We'll make it. Uh, Ooh, nice. That's uh, twenty-one. Nice. Uh, you hear in your mind. Uh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's Fine. all you hear is don't. Fine. Just dismiss the sword. Uh, so here's the thing. They're still on there, and this is Elfish has been around for a while. So chances are. Well, I figure most of the people who come in here don't care about 1,000 gold piece gems. Well, that's also I'm poor. True. <laughs> that's also true. So, I mean... That was my general thinking yeah, with this you whole... Get, you get the, the, the sense from the entity uh, that... Uh, You'd be a terrible idea to try and rob you them. probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someone, someone this security conscious has definitely thought of, of that before They're, he put that in, yeah. out in the open. Which is why, one... All of their weight staff clothes and stuff, and all their their other the other things. I thought that was a good idea too. All of their <laughs> sheeting. Well, it's still a good idea. You just have to find a different way to get it. Uh, it's all done internally. Uh, chances are, anything that's not nailed down has some kind of uh, ward f- formed ward or alarm spell or something like that. So if you try and say anything, it it, it, it would get loud. It gets loud. All right, so yeah, I'm a. Or sends a silent alarm to for somebody. Yeah. See, so I'm gonna reapply my mask and head out. Okay. Natasha, it has been wonderful meeting you. Likewise. Uh, did you want to do a room? Oh no, thank you. I I do have some some friends in town that I'll be staying with. Oh. Okay. Um. But it, it is possible after the trials that when I'm looking to set up my home that I may come by and stay here for a while. The rooms seem to be relatively inexpensive. Mm-hmm. Um, as a note, uh, and she kind of hands you a, uh, a, a room service menu, <laughs> if you will. Uh-huh. Um, and you're... It takes every bit of you to not, like, have your jaw <coughs> drop open to see the pricing of the room service items. Um, one of... Let's you blink. <laughs> one of the... One, oh, one of the items on the list, items, so to speak, listed, is they do have uh, a sexy badger type service. service. Like... <laughs> Uh, very Escort. discreet <laughs> type thing, um, but it, it it does exist. So it's on the menu. stuff like dragon yeah. steaks and you get the feeling, especially given the ostentatiousness of the rooms, that some of the the sort of nobility uh, use the golden sphere for. Uh, secret meetings. Secret meetings. Secret liaisons. Uh, adulterous. That's what I was going for. Secret uh, liaisons. Yes, that happens a lot. Because most, you know, as I'm sure you all know, most noble marriages are not out of love. No, no, they're they're it's convenience. Well, it's convenience treaty. or or money or business. So yeah, that's a thing that happens. <clears throat> Uh, any, any, you know, you, you may keep that. We have a great many. No, oh, thank you very much. Yes. Any, any, yeah, any other questions? Is there anything special about this place you haven't told me? No. All right. Insight <laughs> check. <laughs> okay. Give me that insight check. Now. No. no. Nat well, one. What'd you get? Nat one. Okay. No yeah. modifiers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You you believe that she's she's telling the truth. <laughs> well, if you would be so kind as to show us to the exit, I think we'll take our leave. It seems that this place is very well defended, and we should be safe here for Sotus's party. We'll be glad to see you. Lovely to meet you. Wasn't too himself he, overbearing. Yes, he he comes from an, an old wealthy family. 
Oh, don't worry. I, I'm recently noble, mm. due to some actions on my father's part. So, it's uh, it's something I've grown used to being a bit looked down upon. But you know, a few decades, and I'll be right up there with the older family. So. Assuming your family is smarter than mine. No, of course. Well, I have a few things to attend to, so it was lovely meeting you. By your leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, she kind of leads, leads you guys back to the, the foyer area, and Preston says, Natasha, I hope that uh, they were decent to you? Oh, yes, of course they are. Good, good. Do you have business with us today? Oh no, we'll be leaving, thank you. But oh, yes. oh. After, once the trials conclude, I may come to Ta -ta. stay here. He sips, oh. his, he sips his tea. Douchebag, okay. <laughs> <laughs> in a row. Oh yeah, he's in a, a row, total yeah. douchebag. So, I'm in disguise, so no one can see my tail. Is there like a, a stand with a potted plant or something expensive near the door? Oh yes. All right, on my way out, I'm just going to pull it over with my invisible tail. <laughs> oh, my Such God. Such a bad idea. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so you're kind of heading out. Is 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 Krishna in front of you or behind? Uh, in front. Okay. Bodyguard so, always goes out the door first. Fair enough. The pot uh, goes to... It crashes. <laughs> just jump aside. And oh, dear, what was that? <laughs> Ghosts. Hmm. Percival. Percival, is this place haunted? Do I need to worry about ghosts now? He's like, he says, uh, well, no, I have. I mean, if no if if, such thing. if this place is haunted, we should warn the populace. Maybe Soda should reschedule he, his party. He kind of uh, adjusts his monocle. Uh, give me a perception check. Shit. <laughs> perception. Okay. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Okay. It would be... Yeah. Alright. I'll give it to you. There's a noticeable change. In I'm going. I'm out. <laughs> of, of his monocle. And he kind of looks at you more closely. I'm uh, out. You're just like... Bye. Just like, and like that, that disguise is useless from here on out. I wasn't planning <laughs> to use it here anyway. <laughs> Natasha. Uh, and, and this is like... This is after you guys leave. This is Natasha. And Duke Ryan of House Reynolds to the blacklist, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. He doesn't Natasha exist. <laughs> he kind of he kind of walks over to to the broken pot and casts mending the cantrip mending and sort of it all goes back together and he puts it back back where it was. Goes back to his little tiny cup of tea. <laughs> Oh, he's such a douche. Like, <laughs> wealthy asshole douche. It's great. Uh, you hastily leave. Uh, Krishna had already left. And, like, turns around I just pretty much run into yeah. it. Out of the way, let's go! Get out. I'm gonna go find an alley and drop my mask because I'm so tired of being this douchebag right now. Yeah. Um, you, you find... Uh, what what were you doing, Kane? So I was going to... I would have probably already been in there at that point. I, what I was planning on doing is waiting about like five minutes or so after... Like sneaking in? No, I was just going to walk right in. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. It's like, I mean, again, like I'm looking... Well... Su southern well, nobility. Well, rewind a bit <laughs> yeah. here. Uh, so I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> they're, they're already up on their tour. Up yeah. on their tour. So there's no one like to greet me as I walk in. Percival is still there. Oh, okay. Yeah, Natasha took them on the tour. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, which kind of Gorgon was she? Because uh, I remember snake, there being several. Yeah. Uh, the snake scales were... Uh, I want to say it's gray. Hmm. She's a dwarf born. So kind of short. No, just just the gray scales. Oh, okay. Yeah. The only, the only distinguishing factor are the color of the scales of the snakes. Um... You see that she's mostly dwarf form, but she has a there are a, a few scales from other 
subgenres. Uh, because for those of you that don't know, uh, which is most of you, I think, uh, just this can meet with everyone. The Gorgons are a race. Um, they're all female. And not just poison-filled giant they're metal not, bowls. They're, they're not... They're not monsters. They're not evil or monsters or anything. They're all very beautiful. They... Uh, get or, or uh, their choice of mates isn't so readily dependent upon race so much as something to strengthen their line because uh, they, 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 they can basically take attributes from the race that they mate with into their offspring so you get a hardier Gorgon race um, and that's why she's with the Pengu the penguin man. That's <coughs> a weird match. It's very strange to think about. But she's so <coughs> into into our future. <laughs> it, it works. So it's fine. Her, kid, her kids are going to look like they have tuxedos on at all times. <laughs> they are, uh, Gorgons are the only uh, race that can really breed with anything. With any other humanoid like the S type race. Like the Asari humans can Mass try. Effect. Like the Asari in Mass Effect. Exactly. I mean, humans can try. They have, I bet you. Well, yeah. I mean, there's half orcs and half elves and all kinds of other. And if you things. and if you go back far enough in the additions, you have dwarves. The dwarf, the dwarf elves. These things are fucked it's up, weird. man. It's super weird. I don't like. It. I, I don't included like one in my game it just because. In, it doesn't work in my world based on what. The dwarves oh yeah, the dwarves. Are. But yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> so you make your way back out. And no, no, Harriet, it. Okay, I'm sorry. No, you're good. Um, oh, a new person. Yes. How may I help you? It's, uh, take, do you have a bar? Bar? Uh, yes. Uh, it's here. Can it's you? not, not in the foyer, no. Oh, no, I'm, I know, I'm, I'm saying, can, may you direct me? Oh, yes. Uh, I assume you're the proprietor? I? Yes. My name is Pastor Tux. Uh, <coughs> lovely to meet you, sir. And he kind of waddles a little bit. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's not necessarily rotund, but he's a penguin man. So yeah. Short legs. <laughs> and he <coughs> kind of takes you uh, down one of the hallways and uh, ask your name, sir. You may. It's <laughs> a... <laughs> <laughs> wow! So I'm I'm treating him with like more disdain than what he would normally give to like other Which people. That's impressive works for him. Yeah, he respects mm-hmm. that. He respects that. So, so I, my name, my name is Kane. I do come from a from a mercantile family down in the Edosian Pe- Peninsula. Mm. Which yeah. is just like two. Yeah. No, I got you. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah. He is familiar with. Mm-hmm. Which which family? I, I do business with some families down that way. I do prefer to n- not divulge while I'm abroad. Ah, I see. Yes, safety, of course. <coughs> and he kind of leads you. It's not the fanciest of the bar rooms. It leads kind of like almost right off the foyer mm-hmm. area, but it's... Kind of like the waiting room where, where you wait yeah. for your table. Uh, and there's, there's some wait staff there. Mm-hmm. And I, and I show no slighter, like, so yeah. like that. I'm just like, thank you very much. And then pass him by to go. Just dismiss him entirely? Yeah. <laughs> nice! <laughs> and he kind of waddles out. So then, and, I, so then, and I thank him as, as well. Thank you, sir. And then of continue. Course. Of course. Your continue on my way. Always appreciated. And, and he turns his tea. Okay. And okay, then, so you're in the bar. Uh, there are a few people in here. Not a lot, but these people are of, of high, high, high society, right? Mm-hmm. They're here, uh, varying races. You see a couple of large tables off kind of near the back. Uh, and there's there's like a fire giant there. What to you looks like a barrel, but it's like a, a huge drink of something. Or yeah. Something. Um, and there's there's a couple of, of other there's some elves there's a dwarf 
who is sipping some sort of bizarre mud, gray, probably mud gray, looking. Yeah, it's kind of a mud looking. Gray. <laughs> um, Look, a mudslide. S- silly, silly rock man. <clears throat> uh, what do you do? Um, I order a drink. <laughs> so not, pr- probably something that I know is not going to be like a high alcohol kind of thing expensive? because again, yeah, I I don't want to I don't want to like, blow my entire wad, but like a sipping wine. Yeah. Some, okay. Something, well, something to cl- like clearly like show that I am going in to do what I said that I was doing. Like a so. snifter cognac, or s- yeah. that's not wine. No, no, sn- snifter is the actual like decanter. Oh well, a glass, whatever the yeah. the glass is called. I don't know. Tumbler. I'm not a fancy guy. I'm sure it's not cheap, but no, uh, a glass of like the cheapest, the cheapest thing that that's on there is a drink that's worth about ten. Okay, I'll get a, I'll get one that's about and it's nice like for white. for for the cheapest thing there. It tastes it's very smooth, it's delightful. Yeah, I I get the next tier up. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not get I'm uh, ju- just to continue. To, oh, okay, twenty white. Okay, that's that's fine. I'll go in and, and then two is delicious. Yeah. So I, because again, I'm, I'm, alcohol can be this is, this is, this is part of like, it's like my training. It's like to not go in and be like, okay, just go in and lowball everything. Yeah. So no, I got you. come in, you're fitting in, throw, yeah, throw some cloud around. And then, um, I'd like to sort of, am I, it's like more, more like at a table or is there an actual like bar? There's an there? actual bar. Um, not all the tables are taken, so you could take a table. Um, I would prefer to be at the bar. Okay. Uh, and try to. Strike up a conversation with the the barkeep, okay. as it were. Uh, the barkeep is a uh, is a lepus, so like a okay. rabbit man. Mm-hmm. Uh, his 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 ears are. Uh, and you've never seen this before. I mean, you've seen a lepus before, obviously, because yeah. you killed one in the first session, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was your target, the lepus. He has yeah. his his ears pulled back. Okay. Almost like a ponytail. It's weird looking, but functional. Uh, they are flopping around. Yeah. Because Percival is very particular. He doesn't want any little hairs and drinks or anything like that. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. gotta keep that shit pulled back. Yeah. Gotta keep an eye on uh, the hairs on those hairs. Yeah. So. <laughs> I hate you so much. I just got I know. that. <laughs> I know you do. Uh, so yeah. After me, <laughs> so take me nearly as long as order. Order. <laughs> Get your order, and he. Mm-hmm. Just, just there. Uh, anything else, sir? Hmm. It's delightful. So, oh, nothing else for now. So, so how's how's working here for the the, the Pengu? Is that is that your proprietor? Yes. Hmm. I'd like to insight check. Oh yeah, uh, you don't even have to. He's lying. Yeah. His, his I mean, face off. I get like. I mean, I do have passive in, uh, investigation. Oh, well, it's not. It's not investigation. It would be insight. Passive but, insight. Yeah. It's whatever. If you're proficient in perception and insight, yeah. it matches yeah. your. You don't have to roll. You can tell that he is putting on that face because he's not about to say that Percival's a douche mm-hmm. in his own establishment. That's yeah. That's bad practice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So, but I'll I'll give him an equally. To, to say that. Oh, I'm sure he is just the, the the best employer ever. Like something to that effect. Indeed. Indeed. So um. Oh, what's gonna ask next? You're still all no so, Yeah. And so that but, lasts until you change it, hmm? right? This is yeah. This is it's just the, the yeah the, yes the cloak of uh. Many fashions from okay. Xanthar's. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, yeah. Like, kind of like the cloak so, of Bill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, like, basically I can just, like, change my clothes mm-hmm. whenever I really feel like it. Yeah. But, um, so a, bit, a little bit busier time, uh, it's around now, and it's, uh, probably be quite slammed uh, at the party in the next few days. You know, you'd think so. But a lot of the mages, the wealthy 
don't necessarily frequent here, um, preferring to bring their own dwellings, like the, which you know because mm-hmm. you saw the tent. The yeah. City. But some stay here, yes. So, shoot. I had a whole line of questioning, like, while Merrick, I was... Merrick has a standing room. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, damn, so, this is now a respectable establishment for me. <laughs> he, uh, he's not this way frequently, but he is, yes. It's a lead Merrick, wow. That is impressive. Oh, yes. Perhaps I should speak, speak with uh, with my family about uh, frequenting more. So, uh, so, so, how many of you are are you going to be working here on the sixth? I uh, yes, I will likely be in the ballroom. Hmm. Very good. And then I'll go back to so I'll sort of kind of give him like a little nod and then go back to my drink for a little bit. Okay. So as to not like give off the impression that I'm like interrogating him, just trying to make a casual yeah, conversation. Of an continue to drink. What? Um. <laughs> spend a few more minutes, uh, like kind of nursing it some. Uh, he kind of attends to other other customers. Okay. Like, yeah. Um. I'd like to try to keep an eye out on the rest of the employees. Okay. Um, there are a few, uh, a, a handful of wait staff in the bar. Okay. Um, and they are they're sort of bringing drinks around and chatting with the, the folks. Okay. I'm just gonna stand in front of the cameras. <laughs> yep. Indeed. There. Crazy kitty meow meow. <laughs> it's 8.30, right. by the way. Yeah. It's 8.30. We started late, though. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. We have enough time We've been for doing it. just over an hour. Yeah, we got, like, 20 more minutes. That's yeah. good, that's good. Okay. Um, I'd like to just sort of keep an eye out, see if there's any, like, times where the, like, the staff, like, kind of, like, interact, or if, like, they're, like, talking to each other, like, when they think, like, no one else is really, like, paying attention or something like that. Mm. Okay. Like, have it. <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> uh, give me a perception check. Okay. What's your passive? It's like 20. Yeah, passive's it? 20. That's so stupid. Observant, man. That's an extra Dragon plus 5. That's hmm? rad. Okay. Such a jerk. I won't even make your roll for that then. Lovely. So, you are. How long do you spend... Okay, you spend enough time uh, that you'll notice this around the same time you start to hear uh, them, Duke Reynolds and, and mm-hmm. Krishna uh, making their way back down. Okay. Uh, so, you actually notice that they have that sort of, like, server... Facade. Yeah, like the smile. Yeah. Like the, oh, oh, that's so. Like they're laughing at the stupid rich people jokes and that kind of thing. Yeah, and then like as soon uh, as they turn around like that. Yeah, they gotta turn around. Back to serious and face. You pick I know up that face. On, I have that face. <laughs> they actually, uh, they use a little bit of of thieves cant to like make fun of some of these people. Like what a douche, mm-hmm. kind of a thing. Uh, About me, I'm guessing. Well, no, like... Oh, just no, 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 like the, the, the bar general... The, the bar space. Uh, and, yeah, so, like, you notice that some of them use... And uh, when they do, you actually do notice that the bartender, uh, like, cracks a smile at... at Sparks. At, at some of those, which implies that he understands mm-hmm. Thieves Can't as well, so... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the rich people aren't working at the bar. You have you the have rich people are drinking at the bar. A pretty important piece of information. Okay. So. So uh, mm-hmm. I'll go ahead and like as I hear like them like going through like I'm probably m- mostly through my drink anyway. Mm-hmm. I'll go ahead and finish it off. Yeah, you hear 
a crash, like right, right, <laughs> right when you finish your drink, you hear a, a crash coming from the foyer. Okay, look. Give a little look around. Yeah. The, bar, the bartender's like, I could have been anything. Really. Yeah. And I'll go ahead and I'll put that down, and then I'll give him another. We'll give him so four white. So just slide, slide that on on there, and then nice, as as I'm it. walking away, I'm going to in like thieves camp. Just give him real quick, thanks. Like and then a, a, like a sly little wink as I'm walking away. He looks briefly surprised, not terribly so. Like just like a flash, mm -hmm. and he signs back. And hoping that I've got to uh, built a little little clout with you did with with M M Master Lepus. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I have retroactively asked his name? Uh, Probably. sure. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what his name is. Yeah. You. Well, I mean, it was asked. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. Peter of House Cottontail. <laughs> no. <laughs> he is a no house of note. Thumper. Copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need to. Let's see. There it is. Wabbit names. What was the bunny from Winnie the Pooh? Rabbit. Yeah, it was just, it was just yeah this is literally his rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not. The, really like the only one who did not. The only two that did not have names that were directly correspondent to what animal they were were hey. Pooh and Eeyore. Oh yeah. Everybody else well, Tigger was owl. Was the nickname. Mm. Probably because uh, the kid couldn't say tiger and just said tigger. Yep. It's all based on what Christopher Robin could actually say. Okay. <clears throat> he says that his name is uh, Halton. I need to actually write this down because I won't remember if I don't. Need this. Gives his name as Halton. That's all you get. That's fine. H A L T O N. So there's a crash. You hear a little bit of haughty white noise. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to be going. <laughs> uh, and you hear, you actually, because uh, I would assume that at this point you're kind of making your way out. Mm hmm. Uh, you actually hear Percival put uh, Duke Ryan of House Reynolds on the blacklist. Mm -hmm. Which you should recognize the name. Oh, I've it, used it before. So as so as I hear that, I'm just going to, uh, like, under my breath, be like, damn it, <laughs> Yeah. And then do you, do you make your way out? So I'll, I'll, uh, so I give kindly nod to... Percival, mm -hmm. as as I'm leaving, and just like don't, but not like breaking stride to do so, just passing on and then moving right along. Gotcha. Out the establishment. Is there like an unseen servant swooping up? No, he uh, he went and well, fixed Percival it. Percival went over and, oh. and he, meant, he mended it. it, which implies that he is a a, a wizard of sorts, of sorts, or some well, some mean, type of caster. Mending is a cantrip for clerics too. I'm trying to think of all the classes that use mending. Now, he just, now yeah. <clears throat> getting back to the current time, Crowley, you said that you make your way into some sort of. I go to an alley and an change alley my face back and return back to Crowley mode. Yeah, I'm still in the fancy ass clothes. Right, but and now I'm a day there are well dressed tieflings about, so it's not necessarily untoward. Well, the whole reason I did the disguise was so I wouldn't be recognized when we go back to the party in case I did that's something fair. really fucking stupid like knock over a pot. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Um, as you're leaving the alley, right? Uh, and there there are people about, walking about. Uh, a, 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 a street urchin kid uh, bumps into you. I grab him. Well, Just immediately. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. He, I know street urchins. Yeah. 
he, he uh, kind of freaks out and uh, he was going to put it like in your, he was going to put something in your pocket. Oh, usually they're pickpocketing me, so but, I'm, I try. But instead he's like, eh, eh, it's for you. Thank you, young man. And he runs away. <laughs> Oh, they they need to get the, the shit get out of them every now and again. Yeah. Keeps them on their toes. Oh, sisters. Like, who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, fuck me twice. Fuck me sideways. This is not good. This is bad. Great! Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm just, I'm going to Do calmly it. put this in a pocket. Do with that as you will. <laughs> uh, okay, we have a little more time. Just calmly just put it in a pocket and walk back to the group. Is everybody back? Yeah, well, we'll say that at this point everyone has reconvened at the, There's probably like some, the signpost some time the later. Was. So, there's a problem. There's a problem. It's a tiny, tiny problem. <clears throat> this is a problem, right? I'm not I'm not crazy, this is a problem. Mm. Mm. It's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> Finn, can you can you read? No. No. No, he can't. No. Okay. Yeah. Just gotta stand up. Oh, oh, excellent. <laughs> yes, Sorry. for him specifically. So I'm gonna read that to. Uh, I'm gonna read that to Finn. Please do. <laughs> you disarmed my device. You die first, Aloysius. Signed S. S. I'm assuming that sounds for Sodas. What the fuck is Sodas? Sodas. 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 Oh. Can I eat? Can it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. If you have an intelligence at least ten, you can read. Okay, cool. Did you read Pinner No, I just wrote a just later with the black pen. You forgot my first name. Yeah. No, I just <laughs> forgot to write your name in it. You actually have decent cursive handwriting. How long will it take you? Fifteen minutes? <laughs> Rude? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Got him. Nice. Got him. <laughs> I think that this is a good time to take our mid session break. Cool. So we'll do that. We'll be back. I like your improvised scroll case. Right? <laughs>